these proposals to charge content providers for access to broadband subscribers are not new. Uh, they have generally been uh, rejected as, um, as problematic. One can recall uh, what happened at, in 2012 uh, at the International Telecommunications uh, Union. There was a heavily controversial meeting where a similar proposal was pushed by a number of uh, large European telecommunications operators. And this proposal was rejected in a multi-stakeholder way. Uh, by uh, by civil society, but also by governments, by a number of members of the technical community, and uh, by several uh, businesses. So one could ask, uh, what has changed in the past decade uh, that would perhaps warrant uh, going back on such a policy? But uh, I don't think that anything has happened that would uh, justify that. Um, and uh, uh, large telcos have continued to lobby for this uh, sending party pays uh, uh, normative uh, well they could have chosen to some extent to invest uh, those efforts in uh, uh, new services or in, uh, uh, in innovating some of the existing ones 